talking about? What's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Crystal and if you're new to my channel, I do not do long intros. Hello if you are new and welcome and hope you stay and happy Halloween to everybody. Hello old subscribers, those that have been sticking with me from the beginning. I love you guys. Hope you're having a good day. So let's just get into this fuckery that we watched last night. Somebody please explain to me why Dylan keep getting in that damn car. Get in the car please Dylan! Like Dylan, 25 like 24 hours, and this boy has been terrified the whole 24 hours he's been with this girl. Like that is just a shame. It's like, dude, why you keep getting in the car with this crazy ass heifer? Why, Dylan? At this point, now I'm starting to blame you for some shit. You should have called your probation officer when you got the car. Yeah, we can talk, but I gotta get in the car. Hi. Have a nice day. Dylan, word on the street, there's a new superhero. His name is Tyreth Toothpick Man. He got these blue shirts and his blue suit, and it gives him superpowers. Call him, he'll put that toothpick in his mouth, he'll go see um, Crazy Heather, he'll do some little trick with his tongue, pop it, or have it bleed the hell out. Something. But call Toothpick Man, he can help you out. just right. Yeah. Now we all thought, okay, once Heather get her little wax, her little thing, um, itch, itch, she'd be okay. No, no. In fact, Heather didn't even like the sex. She didn't like the sex at all. She said he could have sex, but it wasn't good is sex. good at sex, but it was really not the best. I think it was just the environment, the atmosphere. He felt kind of distant. Dylan, I wouldn't take that personal. You messing with bipolar tussie. It needs a little more shit. She got some evil shit going in there. You be talking about, he thought the shit was great. Um, but uh, Dylan, she wasn't feeling it. You didn't give her something good she could feel. Not at all. Because she's just as angry today than she was 24 hours before you fucking got there. She's still fucking angry. Why are you? Get out! Like I'm not doing it. Oh, You're a whole different person. I didn't do anything. You're right, you didn't do anything. Right, nothing wrong. Grandma Diane wouldn't have treated you right that way. Grandma and Diane wouldn't have never treated you that way, Dylan. I don't understand how this girl can sit there and say Dylan has been, what, condescending to her? Phone in person is super judgy, and it doesn't even feel like I'm with the same person at I realized Heather is not the same person that I was talking to when I was a prisoner. No, Heather, that just proves you're fucking crazy. We've all, unless the camera is showing us, showing us some shit that we, you know, we're just missing. You've been terrifying this boy since he got there. He has no time to be judgy and condescending. That's all the shit that's in your head because you're fucking insecure because this boy is prettier than you. Why don't you go ahead and bet that shit? You proved that shit when you let him just continue on with his interview. That's how I figured. Girl, you're jealous of the boy because he's pretty. Mr. Lord, I'm going to wait in the car. When you're done doing your interview, you can meet me there. No, I need a second. I need a Second. Don't hate on that boy because he's cute. She don't feel like she can stand up to it. She feeling uncomfortable and shit because she just, she, this broad is weird. I almost called her something else, but I'm not because we know this heifer got some issues, but we know that's the issue. She jealous of this boy because he pretty. He getting all the camera time and she don't want to be on camera because it's all about him. That's the fucking shit she feeling. That's the shit she really feeling. So far, the only thing we've seen with this two is her flipping the hell out on Dylan and Dylan being terrified. I'm surprised he ain't in the corner sucking his thumb rocking somewhere. Like, it's like, dude, I hope I don't see him in a car with her next week. I guess we're going to have to. They're going to drag this car scene out to fucking death. But it's like, at this point, dude, you need to call your P.O., your mama, Jesus, somebody, anybody's pastor. Fuck away from that crazy bride because she going to kill you. She's definitely not acting. I don't see. Now, if she's acting, she's a good-ass fucking actress. If she's acting and this is bullshit, she's a good-ass actress. But I don't see it. Um, that girl is lit beyond lit. She is lit beyond lit. You know she is. Did you guys, and I know you saw it, you see her reaction when he says, if I'm late to go to the DMV, I'm going to let me too late to test. Yeah, it is. I'm going to be so mad. She looked, he's got so terrified, he's like, no, but not at you, not at you. That man shouldn't be that scared of that crazy heifer. Not at you, at the fact that they don't do testing. 
They do yeah. it. So usually it's like they stop accepting, like the line stops for testing like two hours after they open. Oh. And you know what? She made him late to that shit on purpose. She did this shit on fucking purpose. You know she did. It took her a long time to get her ass ready because she was in there getting high before she was putting on a damn plaster on her damn face to make her look like a normal ass person that still looked like fucking Chucky. We all know that this relationship is over and I am so glad because she is off the chain. Did you see how crazy she looked taking off that mic? She almost looked possessed. Like I said, we gonna look at this shit. Harder than it has to be? Yes, where are you gonna I'm gonna take off my mic. I'm gonna rip out this mic. I'm gonna put it on the table. make that shit up you can't make that shit up there's that we all know there's something wrong with her but she just looked possessed 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 so i know she's not acting this is some real shit and i'm glad this relationship is over but it's really hard to get anything out of them as far as there's no communication you can't communicate with her he no one can communicate with this girl she's on 10 she figured I waited five years to get that penis and I didn't like it. Oh, she's pissed. We all know that if you've been looking at some guy, you've been wanting this dude all this time, and finally you get this dude and and it and it's and it ain't good. You're like, I want my pussy back. I want it back. Damn it, I want it back. I, and you can't get it back. Um they happy. I get he happy. Crazy translates into good sex. Yes, the sex with Heather was good. But we're just like, fuck. Um, that wasn't my shit. It wasn't my shit. Anyway, guys, I got bored to come today or tomorrow. Uh, happy Halloween. Be safe out there if you're out there doing shit. So I will see you guys later on. Don't okay, be guys, I had to come back from work one more time. I wanted to read something that just popped up on my feed. And I want to know if you guys believe it. Heather is claiming that during the original shoot, she told the network that she was being trafficked by Dylan and Cohorse and didn't know how to get away from him rather than helping her. They took that as another opportunity to exploit her situation and profit from her abuse. Do you guys believe that? Do you believe that? I want to know. Please let me know in the comments below if you believe that.